Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, I take you through the changes to the roadmap from week to week. As always, a huge thank you to all my patrons. It is because of these guys that I get to make videos like this. So if you find them useful and enjoy them, be sure to head over to my Patreon page to learn more. So with the recent update and change in development to staggered development, which basically just means one team will be working on 3.7 while another team will be working on 3.8. And then when the 3.7 team finishes, they will then shift to 3.9. Doing this so that they have a lot more time working on each feat, on each patch, six months instead of three, which, you know, it sounds like a good idea on paper. We'll see how they get on with that. And hopefully it does uh, improve the development and... Um, and we have less bugs. But there was a lot of updates regarding the roadmap, so let's take a look at what has changed. For 3.7 and locations, the caves, the rocky caves, is about 63% complete. That is now at 14 out of 22 done. Six of them were completed last week. They have added a couple more, and there's only eight more to go. For gameplay, the FPS mining is at 87%. That is at 72 out of 82 done. So six were completed, four were added. Uh, and there's only 10 to go there, so that's very close to being finished. The personal commodity inventory is now complete and in polishing. We saw a bit of this on Inside Star Citizen, which is looking really nice. I do like this. It's very clean and elegant. Uh, harvestables is at 97%, so that's close behind them. That's at 34 out of 35, so only one to go, but only one was completed since the week gone. For ships and vehicles in 3.7, the Vanguard Sentinel is at 87%. That is at 14 out of 16 tasks completed. One was completed over last week. There's only one more to go there. The Banu Defender is at 50% complete. So 25 out of 50 tasks are done. They did complete two from last week. So there's still another 25 to go. Fingers crossed it's not going to be pushed back. Uh, at the very least, I think it might be a 3.7 point something patch that we get that. But we will see. For weapons and items, the Hebity Salvo Frag Pistol is at 74% complete. 29 out of 33 are done. Two were done over the course of this week. Four more to go. The Kroneg FL-33 Laser Cannon, this is your ship weapons, are at 69% complete. 16 out of 23 were done. Seven completed, seven to go. Now that's it for 3.7. For 3.8 and locations, the new Babbage Landing Zone is at 28% done. 86 out of 303 are now complete. 24 of them were done last week. Microtech's Moon Calliope is at 46%, so 7 out of 15 done. One was completed last week, and there's only 8 more to go there. For AI, the NPC Bartender Improvements, which was pushed back from 3.7, is at 82% complete. 66 out of 80 are done. 23 have been done over the course of last week. 14 left. So they're not too far away from getting that finished. For ships and vehicles, the Esperia Prowler, a very cool ship. Only 19% done now. Uh, 8 out of 41 have been completed. Two were actually removed since last week. And then finally on to 4.0, the Orison Landing Zone is at 67% complete. With 211 tasks done out of 313. 87 of those were completed last week. Uh, but 149 were added. So just over 100 now to go. Uh, this changes constantly. Now in terms of gameplay for 4.0, the multi-crew expanded pilot roles and expanded turret gunner roles were moved from 3.9 to 4.0. Security systems have moved from 3.8 to 4.0 and salvaging version 1, I'm afraid, has slipped from 3.8 to 4.0 as well, which I'm sorry to hear about, but they have mentioned this uh, saying that they're trying to make room for the FPS mining and refueling, so they're not working on this. It does make sense to push mining further on while they're still developing it, uh, but also they want to get refueling in first, which will include harvesting of normal fuel and quantum fuel. As I say, shame that salvaging has slipped, but it does make sense to focus on what we have right now, getting that finished uh, or as far along as they can before they move on. Anyway, that is it for this week's roadmap update. As I say, it's a shame about salvaging, but that is the nature of the beast. Do let me know what your thoughts are. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Brothers Ryan, and I shall see you next time.